Okay, so everything's nice and dry. We have the primary hull all finished. It's all glued together. And what we need to do now is we need to work on the impulse engines. You guys can see that. Um, we got the bulbs coming out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach the impulse engines and then we're going to paint the edges of the saucer section. You can see there's a space in the middle. I mean it's not that accurate because it doesn't have the windows but there's a line that goes around the ship. So what we're going to do is I'm going to paint that black. Then we're going to touch up the colors and we're going to touch up the um, the impulse engines and then after everything's dry we're going to clear coat the top but before we do that you guys can see we got to move on to step 19 paint the three shuttle bay doors we had already done that ghost gray and cement in place is shown that's all done these pots will need to be masked when painting the base coat after assembly is complete. Again, we're not doing it that way. Um, they want you to build a whole ship and then paint it. Um, but we did it, we did it this way, we did it section by section. Cement both main impulse engines in place. So these are parts 501 and 502. And they're transparent blue. Again, I don't know why they made them blue. As far as I know, they're red. I've always seen them red. you can see here they are. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take them off the tree and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them in place first and then when we touch up the paint we'll paint the outsides. Let's see how does that look for the flash. Let's uh, sand it down just a bit. larger part is going to go to the outside, but I just got to make sure on the instruction sheet, yep, the uh, larger part is going to be on the outer edge. So, let me make sure you guys can see this. And I like to use the super glue. guys I don't know if you can see this or not but it's gonna go now what I might have to do is on the inside um, I'm gonna have to allow for the light bulb yeah so it's not gonna completely fit so what I'm gonna need to do is drill just a little bit for the light bulb to go through Okay, so what I did was I put on the impulse engines. You guys can see that. And it had a little bit of time to dry. Now, what I think I'm gonna do is I've been thinking about this and I just, I don't like the blue for the impulse engines. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint, paint them red. And if I do it correctly, they'll glow red because this one is red and the blue just doesn't match. But what I want to do now is I want to start to wipe off the excess um, glue. Wipe off the excess uh, plastic putty, I'm sorry, not glue. So we want to have a little bit of support. And let's see, let's start. Uh, there, that looks pretty good. So, let's just get the 
bottom. Okay, so it's all set. We're gonna wait for this to dry and then we can paint in the areas. Now what I wanna do now is, I don't know, the, the top of the saucer section or the sides, um, it has kind of a line. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Kind of a line that goes all the way around the ship. And what I want to want to do is I'm going to paint it black. And you can see the little sections that are going to stay gray. So I'm going to paint that. And we're going to get that all set. And I'm going to use black paint. The acrylic black. can see that and don't worry about it I'll, I'll touch it up later I just want to make sure you guys can see all the way around so let's let that dry right now and then we're going to be able to put the red into the impulse engines okay so what I want to do now is Like I said, I don't like the blue, the impulse engines. Uh, that just doesn't look right. So let's stabilize the front of the ship. And I'm gonna use the red. So I'm sure this is going to take multiple coats, but hopefully you guys can see how that looks. So we got to wait for this to dry, and then we can put on another coat. All right, so I just put another coat on, and I think it's going to be multiple coats um, before it gets to be coating it, um, because this is acrylic paint. And you don't want to just gob it on. So as many thin coats as it'll take. Um, and don't worry about how it looks right now. We're going to touch it up and it'll look good. So let's wait for this to dry and we'll put another coat. Okay, so I gave it another coat. So I gave it three coats of this. And it just doesn't want to seem to catch. I'm not going to do this forever. If this one, um, when I plug it in, if it doesn't look good, I'm going to use the testers and I'll use the oil-based paint. Um, but I just wanted that paint to match the water 
soluble paint for the rest of the ship. So with that being done, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start to touch up the gray areas on part of the ship um, on the saucer section. You can see some of the uh, areas around where we put the putty, around the impulse engines, and there are some spots along the primary hull as well as the sides. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to touch up the paint and we're going to wait for that to dry and then we'll be ready to put the, uh, the clear coat on. Okay, so we did the painting and I touched up the saucer section. We did around the edges. Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. What I want to do now is let her dry nice and thoroughly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to light her up. I'm going to make sure there are no light leaks. And if I need to put another coat of paint on, we'll put another coat of paint. Um, until then, let her dry. And when I come back, we'll light her up. And if it's all set to go, we'll clear coat it. Okay, so I had some time to dry. And it's a good thing I put it on before putting a clear coat on because you can see, I got a lot of light leaks. I gotta go ahead and fix. I don't know why the starboard side is showing up like there's a square in it. Um, I don't know, looking at it without the camera, it looks fine. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna touch it up. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all touched up. Okay, so you can see I need to do a little bit more light block. But it is nighttime, and I wanted to give you guys an actual shot of all the windows. Because in all the shots that I showed you so far, you know, that you, you weren't able to see the windows. And it really is cool, and I wanted you guys to see um, the way the windows looked. So you can see, I got a light block on this side, and another coat of the paint to block out the blue. And another coat on that side. You can see the impulse engine on the bottom, the secondary hull. You can see the top where the bridge is. You've got B and C decks. And we've got the underneath. You've got the deflector dish. Let me see if you guys can see the underneath of the saucer section. So you can see it, look, it looks pretty cool. Um, it is a pain, and I don't think it's more practical than doing the uh, drilling the holes and using the LED strips, but, but it is pretty cool. Anyway, 
I wanted a chance to actually show you guys all the windows at night so you guys can check it out. You see the, uh, the neck or the saucer pylon. Anyway, I'll do some more touch-ups and um, it should be coming along. The next time I touch it up, it should be pretty much ready to uh, clear coat. But we'll see. Okay, so I just did some more of the light block and I did some fine detail work on the painting um, again I just didn't think the blue looked right so now she has red impulse engines on the saucer section so what we're going to do now is we're going to put it to the test and let me put the light out you can see the impulse engines with the red parts and we light them up and it looks pretty good Again, there's a hot spot on the uh, starboard impulse engine. I don't know why it's doing that because when you look at it, you don't see that little uh, that little hot spot. But for some reason, it's showing up on camera. Or it does look like that side, and that one has a little bit of a hot spot too. I'm not sure why. I put three coats, actually four coats now of paint, the red paint. But anyway, you can see the saucer section. And the impulse engines are done. That was step 18. You can see the, uh, the secondary hull. So what we're ready to do now is re we're ready to uh, clear coat it. So we're going to clear coat the top of the saucer section, and that should pretty much finish that section off. Okay, so showing you guys what we did in this video. We did step 19, or we finished step 19. We had already done the number one shuttle bay door. Um, of course, we had done two and three shuttle bay doors earlier when we had done the uh, secondary hull. And we put the impulse power um, pieces on. And like I said, I, I painted them red and we light blocked them. So that's done. And but that's, that's all to step 19. So now what we're ready to do is what I'm going to do now is we're going to clear coat the primary hull. And when we finish clear coating the primary hull, it should just about be done. And then we'll be able to move on. So let's move on. And we're going to use the paint gun. Here we go. You can see it's all nice and shiny. The coat is nice and even. We got it around. You can see that it's all. It's going to be nice and sealed. It's going to seal all of the decals into place. 
You can see the edges will be sealed. The windows, the impulse engines going all the way back to where the primary hull meets the secondary hull. And she's starting to come along. She's starting to look really good. So don't look now, guys, but we just finished. That was step 19. And we just actually completed the top of the, uh, the saucer section, which means we completed the primary saucer. The primary hull is totally done. The secondary hull is done. And what we were ready to move on, you can see we've already done this. So we can actually move on to step 20. The step 20 and 21 will be getting the nacelles ready. In my next video, we're going to be tackling the starboard and the port nacelles. We're going to solder and we're going to get those lit. And that'll bring us towards the end of this build. Okay, so she had a little bit of time to dry. And I've got it. Well, I tried to darken the room as best as I could. So let's go ahead. We'll flip the switch. And we'll light her up. You can see all the little points of light. Where the windows are. Again, some of the lights came off B and C decks around the other side, around the port side. Because the... Um, the fiber optic cables are so brittle, a lot of them snapped. That's why some of them aren't lit. But a lot of them are lit. You can see the, the way they look, the kind of glow. You can see the ones underneath, where the deflector dish is, the saucer pylon, the dorsal hull. It looks like I got a little spot there. There's a lot when you handle this and you build it from the bottom up, it doesn't go together like you could clamp it and then put the big pieces together. So when you handle it, the weight of everything kind of breaks the seams a little bit. You can see right there. So when the model is done, before I put on the final coat of the clear, I'm going to go through and I'm going to light block, putty, and touch up all of the little areas like this that's separated and it'll be good to go. So like I said, I just did the primary hull. You can see that's how it's supposed to look with the red. It's not supposed to be blue. So that looks good. You can see the secondary hull. The wires are coming out. We're all set to put the nacelles on. You can see the back of the dorsal hull. That looks good. The windows that are lit. And the impulse engines. Shuttle bay, shuttle bay one, panning across the bridge area, B and C decks. Showing you guys her registry number. The windows, the escape pods. So that, my friends, was step 19. And we finished off the primary hull. So the primary hull and the secondary hulls are finished. And now it's time to move on to the nacelles. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.